NATO wants to increase security on Turkey's border with Syria. It comes one week after Turkish forces shot down a Russian bomber over an alleged airspace violation. Ministers from the 28-nation alliance now plan to send more military hardware to Turkey. The US and Germany recently announced they would withdraw Patriot missiles and military personnel, which had been deployed on Turkish soil. We will work on further measures to uh, assure Turkey's security. And we will enhance our support for partners to increase their ability to defend themselves. NATO diplomats remain seriously concerned about Russia. Officials there say that Moscow's airstrikes in Syria are helping President Bashar al-Assad. The Russian government denies this, saying ISIL positions are the real targets. We are uh, now addressing how we can uh, develop, uh, strengthen uh, our deterrence and, uh, and uh, continue to adapt uh, our military capabilities to a more assertive Russia and to a Russia which has uh, deployed modern advanced uh, military ca capabilities. A NATO source told us that after annexation of Crimea, the destabilizing of Donbass and some unhelpful activities in Syria, Russia is no longer a partner, but nobody is going to declare it an enemy. NATO will have to decide how to get along with large and powerful neighbor. Andrei Biketov, Euronews, Brussels.